Well, welcome back to the uh, Midwest Sports Show. Hello. Gene. I'm Gene. all bundled up because we're, we're out. Did you see how cold it was in Green Bay? Whoa. How can you only be wearing a shirt? It's freezing. Gene, I got the uh, the crotch the crotch heater, Gene, the uh, electric crotch heater. And so. you know what? When they made the call, the guys make the call to shovel snow in the stadium for $10 an hour. Would you do that? I would have done it. Uh, I think if that I, been cool. If I was a resident of Green Bay and there's no other prospects, uh, like there isn't. Yeah. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Ten bucks. I think, I think between killing deer and shoveling snow, they got their hands full. Because I think they, on the deer hunting, didn't they uh, get 75,000 deer or something crazy? A lot of deer. <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I shoveled snow and then I just stayed there. At the stadium, so right. I'm still trying to well, draw. We, we are at Lambeau Field in the press box. Yeah. Oh, no and more games uh, this year. Oh, till the playoffs. What am I saying? Yeah. Exactly. Could be. Oh, I like to. I I don't. No, that's spoiler alert. Okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, now uh, now Gene's got me uh, discombobulated. Oh no, it's no. I but won't let's, say anything about the Packers or the playoffs. All right, well, let's, uh, we'll talk about all of that, including uh, the rest of the NFL Week 15. A lot of, a lot of good – are we at 6 now? We're at 15, right? 16. We've got two more games? Now we've got Week 17 – no, Week 15. Gosh, I keep thinking they've switched to 18-game schedule. Not uh, yet. No, wait, Week 15. All right, we uh, got two more games left. A lot of news, Gene. Yeah. A lot of good stories uh, coming mm. about for the NFL. Anything about the Chicago Bears we, uh, going to the playoffs? We, we may – we may spend some time on the Bears, Gene. Oh, okay. What about Iowa playing in the uh, Holiday Bowl? Uh, Gene, I'll tell you what. Everyone loves your Iowa well, segment, my... so I will give you the next three minutes oh, well, that's, to talk that's about three Iowa. Minutes. I don't need three minutes. Listen, Iowa plays USC, a rematch of the 2003 Orange Bowl, which we lost. Oh, my gosh, we got crushed. Uh, Carson Palmer lit us up. But. We have a rematch at the Holiday Bowl in San Diego, and my whole family is going to come out, and I'm going to drive my mom down there, and we're going to take care of business. Do you? Do Good you, luck, USC. Do you already have tickets to this uh, thing? Yeah, we got them through the university. It would have been a lot cheaper just to buy them on StubHub, but you want to support the university so they get credit for ticket sales. I don't even know how much it costs. My sister says it's it's, that, it's that campus tax, huh? Yeah. Uh, 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 by the way, if you ever wonder what happened to the Chargers old stadium, we'll be there. <laughs> I don't even know. I, I No, it's called SDCCU Stadium. It's called STD Stadium? <laughs> what? Something like, something like that. No wonder Phil Man, Rivers didn't want to the play there. Char- oh, so uh, we're going to do that thing, come back here. And also, oh, yeah. And then I might take my mom to Frozen. I saw it last night. It's so good. Frozen 2? No, the musical oh. from Broadway. Yeah. Awesome. Okay. All right. <laughs> celebrate Christmas. All right. Well, uh, Andrew Lloyd Webber, Gene? Uh, that is not Andrew Lloyd Webber. Oh, okay. I don't know who that is, but it was very good. Oh, uh, Elsie Elf- and Does, does Anna? the guy who wrote Frozen, does he get paid for, like, all the uh, tickets yeah, the, to the live I, show? He, If he did, he's making a fortune. Or is it something in the contract that says that anything you write wow. is owned by Disney? Because and, it's uh, a, they made so much money on Broadway and touring. Ooh, I don't know. Oh, and I'm going to see Il Devo. El Devo is like these Italian guys, quartet singers. I'm going to see them. And I saw Cirque du Soleil, too. At the, oh, and I saw Jumanji. Fantastic. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I bet. Um, Wait, you don't want to see Jumanji? Uh, no, no moji. <laughs> okay. No and, moji. And then, uh, Star Wars is coming out, Gene. Are you going to go see yes, Star Wars? I'm going to see it at the Chinese theater. Are you going, uh, down to, uh, Hollywood Boulevard? They got yep. a big, uh, yeah. I, I see those guys every week or every day camped out in front of the, they have, they have Hollywood. They're going to have, I think the premiere is probably tomorrow night. And no, I uh, think it's tonight. Actually. Oh, it could be tonight. Yeah, I was there this morning, and it's going to be epic. And then they have all those people. They, they're camped out since last week for the first showing, and I'm thinking it's not 1977. You just buy your tickets online now. Uh, Gene, those are homeless people. Okay, <laughs> okay, I didn't know that. Wasn't aware. And the homeless that. people got to feel bad. It's like, geez, now people are. Yeah, that's my spot. Hey, I that's did. my spot, buddy. Yeah, I. So I'm going to see Star Wars. Yeah, coming up. Are you going to see it? I'm not giving 
this uh, shit franchise another dollar. Oh, uh, you're mean. Uh, the, I, Gina, I have no interest in any of these new movies uh, anymore. I saw Rogue One, and that was it. I'm done. No, no, no one that, cares. You you made it this far. This is number nine. <laughs> yeah. There's nine Star Wars, and this is number nine. How can you bail now? They should have stopped at number three. Well, okay. the first three, actually yeah, number two. Yeah. Well, they hit the snag. The first three were great. Well, and then they hit the snag with the second three, and then. Well, Gene, I tell you what, Gene, go back and watch mm. the prequels. They're probably better than you remember. Oh, really? Especially compared to this shit oh, that they're uh, spoon feeding us. Yeah. I got very strong uh, feelings about the new Star Wars well, trilogy. I, I like to support the arts, so I'm gonna. <laughs> so I go to Chinese theater. Yeah, where J.J. Abrams uh, needs yeah. all the support hey, he can get. When they, and uh, where it costs twenty two dollars for matinee. Mm. Yeah, but Gene, they got uh, Darth Vader's armor or uh, suit in the lobby. So there yeah. you go. Oh yeah, I know. I saw that. Yeah. Eugene, yeah, I've actually uh, one of my uh, the the company I work for, one of the uh, co partners for it, yeah. owns the Chinese theater. So I've been in the Chinese theater quite a couple times. Yeah, I've the been past there, couple of months. I saw, I've been in there twice in the last week. I saw Ford versus Ferrari, and then I saw Jumanji. I love going there. It's a beautiful theater. Oh my gosh! I've not, not, not been in the theater part, but oh, the, the office part. Yeah. How, how many theaters are there? There's only one. Well, the it? one main one, yes. Oh, okay. And then they have inside the mall. They have upstairs. They have, I think, six or five theaters. That's the Dolby, though, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. No, the Dolby. It's next to the Dolby. Okay. But anyway. All right. This is exciting. what people uh, tuned oh, okay. in for: is to watch, uh, is to listen to uh, Hollywood uh, my uh, movie theater talk. Frozen is great. It's great. <laughs> Fantastic. All right. All right, well, Gene, yes. it's uh, time for uh, the comeuppance. Uh-oh. After uh, bear, I, I was so excited. In L.A., we finally got Bears Packers. We have finally got a great, well. Well, Gene, you, you, you slept through the first no, uh, three I quarters, right? I saw every play. I did <laughs> oh, not. Geez. I almost used the sound, but I, I, I did not have the sound on, uh, but. Uh, I watched every play. Well, Charles Davis, I, I listen, Gene. I'm sick of Charles Davis calling all oh, these goddamn games. Okay, right. all these Packer games. I think he's called like ten of them this Who's year. Who's he partner with? Uh, um, Steve Burkert or whatever. Thomas Burkhart, oh, the, the okay. baseball guy. He does baseball too. He's good. Oh, Tom Brenneman. No, 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 no. It, well, it, it's the new baseball guy on Fox. Oh, Burkett. I know who you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. good looking guy. Yeah, I got you. Uh, fresh face. Right, and then you got Charles Davis, who is the uh, king of cliches and uh, idiotic uh, puns. Yeah, that's why I don't listen to it. Yeah, you're probably, yeah. probably right. Although Booger, have you ever? Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. He does Monday nights. I'm not a fan. I'd rather listen to a podcast and then watch a game while I'm doing something else, and then I kind of look over at the TV, and then I'll give it a double glance if something happens. Two birds and one stone, right? Yeah, when the punt thing happened, and I'm like, wait. All what right. the hell's going on well, over there? We will uh, Ooh, we will talk about that. Okay, all right. But Gene, uh, a lot of lead up to this game. I know. Second, exciting. Second game of the uh, season uh, between Chicago and Green yeah. Bay. I was at the first one. I was in Chicago for opening night. Chicago's playoff hopes barely alive, flickering, uh, flickering like a candle that's almost they, uh, gone uh, out. Realistically, they they were um, they were done, but. Yeah, they were kind of done after week one, but it was exciting. A lot, I listen to a lot of Chicago radio, and they were very excited about this game just because it's Packers. Well, after, after Mitch Trubisky had, what, three weeks in a row? Yeah, where, he, where uh, it looked pretty good. Looked decent? Yeah. He looked like a uh, decent backup quarterback? Yeah. Yeah, that's, I mean, I can't imagine him paying him like a franchise quarterback. And a lot of, uh, a lot of stories about the history of the Packers and Bears and all this and all that. And uh, Aaron Rodgers was on the radio being interviewed. Oh. And he was talking about the good old days uh, playing against Brian Erlacher. Wow. Said the Bears Hall of Fame linebacker was a worthy opponent in a chess match. But the defensive checks he used at the line of scrimmage weren't the kind of things you could print on a family website. Ooh. The checks he was saying were super inappropriate, Rodgers said. Uh, via Jason Leiser of the Chicago Sun-Times. Gene, are you a uh, uh, I do read reader? the Chicago Sun-Times. Is yeah. it Jason Leiser? Yeah, I'll go with that. Sure. Why not? I think it was uh, before the miking up of the guards where every single word is heard because I promise oh. you, if that happened today, some of that stuff would have had to get bleeped out. Yeah, yeah. 
And then Urlacher, he always knew. He kind of knew it was coming a lot of times with the Packers. Yeah. Well, Gene, I uh, I went back to some of those games. Oh, okay. I see. So and used my uh, lip-reading skills. Okay. And uh, I have some of the uh, profane words written oh, down here. Oh, boy. Which I'm going to share with the audience. So, oh, uh, Little kids, cover your ears right now. Yeah. Tell my mom. Tell uh, here we go. Yeah. Um, Rex Grossman. <laughs> yeah. You know, what else? Kyle Orton. <laughs> Two of the legendary quarterbacks for the Bears. There you go. Yeah. Jake Cutler. Oh, my gosh. That's yeah. blasphemy. I, I, Gene, I could uh, go on and name right, uh, Bears right. quarterbacks, and I actually looked it up. But some of these guys you wouldn't even believe. Right. They start uh, – Josh McNown, I yeah. mean, he's been on every team. Brian Hoyer, remember that? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Cordell Stewart, we were talking about him yeah. a while back ago. Yeah. Brian Greasy, do you remember the Brian Greasy era oh, of Chicago no, Bears? No, he must have. I don't know. I don't. I I remember him being in the league for not a long time, but yeah, yeah. He was good at Michigan, but not too good at pro. <laughs> he, he was that. good. At, he was good against playing amateurs. Yeah, uh, not so yeah. much uh, professionals. Right. Mm. Uh, they also said that the Packers are seventeen and four against the Bears this decade. Wow. 17 and 4. They only won 4 games against the uh Green Bay I Packers. I can't in... remember when they won. Well, they... I know one Thanksgiving game like probably right. 10 years ago. And then 2010, no, that was the last game of the year. If the Bears would have beat the Packers, they would have knocked the Packers out of the playoffs. That, been, that, right? that was the NFC Championship. That was where Jay Cutler couldn't uh, oh, I know, play the but game. Didn't they play the last game of the regular season? Um Oh, yeah, that's possible. Uh, and then because the Packers were wild card. And if the Bears would have won that game, the last game, the Packers wouldn't even made the playoffs, I think. Yeah, I think uh, the Bears had home field throughout the playoffs because it yeah. was in Chicago, right? So Yeah. 17-4. And I'm also sure some of those games, uh, A-Rod was hurt. So, well, I remember uh, the one game in Trestman uh, where the, the Packers scored 55 points or something like that. And what? That was in Green Bay. Oh. That okay. was like. Five years ago. Not good. Right. Not a good legacy. Not a good uh, the rivalry. Although I think the Bears, oh, I don't know if they. No, I think the Packers have the overall oh, lead the, down. Uh, yeah. Rivalry. Okay. Well, it's 17 4 for 10 It's years. hard to say with the titles because they make up so many fake titles from the way oh, back. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah. I see what you're saying. From like the 19th. All right. Third. And uh, yes, Gene, let's, uh, we can actually talk about the game now. All right. I, and uh, as you referred to it, uh, there was a uh, kitsch catch. Kick catch interference. I didn't even know that's so, what they called it. So basically, what happened is a uh, green. I think it was uh, was it Shaman Williams actually. I think mm, I think it was yeah. Shaman Williams. Oh, okay, for the Packers. Who was fielding a punt, caught the ball, and then it was uh, what it was Cordell Patterson, wasn't it? Who was it? Yeah, I think it was Cordell yeah, Patterson. Yeah, I think so. Viciously. Wait run, a runs second. into him. I thought that's what they called him. I thought maybe they called him because uh, he led with his helmet. Well, originally people were thinking that uh, it was a what do you call it a um, uh, a fair catch, right? But then and then I think that's what they called. But then he didn't. They what? Well, they showed it on TV and he didn't actually do the hand no. flag thing. Uh, but they still called it and he fumbled by the way and the Bears yeah. recovered it. It yeah. would have been like at the 15 yard line for the Packers yeah. or something like that. Huge. And uh, let's see. He uh, he was quoted today. I don't know what I did to the refs this week, Patterson said oh, by the right. Chicago Sun yeah. Times. Maybe uh, that that Mitch Lat Lat Jason Lasser. Yeah, he's everywhere. I don't know. Wow. Patterson said by the Chicago. Someone told me I need to start bringing them donuts and stuff <laughs> before the game. Yeah. Next week I'm going to have to bring them some hot chocolate and all that stuff. Wow. Well, uh, well, go ahead, Jim. Didn't Dean Blandino? Is that what you're going to say? No. <laughs> that, that not, I think he said there was a bad call when well, I mean it, it, people are kind of split on it, but he did have he did catch it. He, had he time. caught it and he got hit one millisecond after catching Which it. Which is all isn't that fine? Uh, mm, I don't know. I listen. I, aren't you supposed to give him like a two yard halo or two foot halo to catch yeah, the ball? What, yeah. Oh my god. Or something like that. Right. Absolutely. Yeah. So. I mean, you know, give him a chance, Cordell. Right, right. right. 
All right. And then, uh, you know, so it was 7-3 at halftime. You know, both teams were sputtering a little bit. Uh, then the second half started, and the Packers scored two quick touchdowns uh, in the second half. And uh, they were looking good. Yeah. Packers were looking good. Defense was looking good. Pretty much uh, Bears weren't able to do anything. Uh, Trubisky had a couple of good throws. See, that's the problem. A couple across his body. I uh, know. Across the he, field. That's the problem. He makes good throws, and he gets you and gets people excited. Well, I, I think he has like five good throws in him every single game. Yeah, but he also throws interceptions. Well, and then and, once he uses those five throws, like there's no more. Yeah, and he and then not only throws interceptions, but he'll throw overthrow guys bad. It's just yeah, a lot of bad throws in there. Interceptions. So. You have Packers. Uh, Packers defense was looking pretty good. Yeah. Um, and then the last play. Did you watch the last yeah. play? Yeah. I, I, well, I was thinking, you guys aren't going to do another Hail Mary? Uh, but, wow, they, they that play well, should have worked. They did a bunch of laterals. Right. And uh, a little too close uh, for comfort. That, that should have worked, right? And then as the guy only had to do with one more lateral. They probably would have got it. Why didn't the Bears guy uh, try to win the when the last guy kind of fumbled it? But you can't advance a fumble like that. So he knew the rules. So, but yeah, he should have lateral one more time. He well, had uh, he was being tackled at the time. So um, yeah, they would have had to go for the two point anyways to tie it up. So he uh, that was. Uh, are you surprised they did that play instead of uh, Hail Mary? I don't think Trubisky has the arm for. Right? Yeah. They probably don't have the receivers for it either. I don't know. Probably don't have any it, it, that play should have worked. It, I mean, it, amazingly enough, that should have worked. Almost. Oh, my God. Matt Nagy's going to go have to go back to the drawing board. And then he had Trubisky. He's getting it. Matt Nagy's getting crushed in the Chicago media because they they didn't run enough and they didn't have Mitch rolling out enough. But I thought they did. What I thought he was uh, and that's why they came back is cuz he, he threw was... 53 times. That's a lot. Yeah, well the run game wasn't going anywhere. No, so. that's the problem. And the Packers defense pretty stellar. Yeah, and the pretty Bears good. defense wasn't they weren't that great. Uh, I mean, they kept Aaron Rodgers to basically. Uh, I have three Aaron Rodgers as my fantasy quarterback, and I got beat up bad this week. And uh, well, you had one touchdown, and Aaron Jones had uh, two yeah, rushing touchdowns. Right? Uh, yeah, Aaron. Oh my god! But I say this every time. You know, you watch these uh, two minutes uh, drives or whatever, right? And the, the difference between Aaron Rodgers throwing the ball and Mitch Trubisky oh seems like he god. Mitch Trubisky throws it too far. Right. And the guy is always, like, diving for the ball or whatever. See, that's the like an out route. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. You never know. Boy, I hope the Packers can get on a roll. They got a – if they win one of their last two, they win a division. Is that right? Oh. I think they need to beat the Vikings for the division. Well, they no, win but they, this week. But, but, the, but they got a one-game lead on the Vikings, so they can – if they lose to them, then they got to win their last well, I think game. they're trying to get home field advantage. The yeah, Seahawks which is possible. Field. That was my other thing. Yep. That was the thing. They still have a chance to get home field throughout the playoffs or throughout the yeah. The, the Seahawks, NFC. the Seahawks play San Francisco this week, so they could definitely lose. But then, won't uh, San Francisco be the number one seed? So I, I don't know. I don't know, but I think it helped that the Niners lost yesterday. Oh yeah, for sure. Somehow. Well, yeah, the Niners are not. Uh, They're a wild card right now. No, exactly. So. Oof. All right. So uh, uh, beat down. So Gene, yeah. What else was the reaction? Uh, and I Chicago think, media, other than yeah, everyone's uh, like, oh, now why? I mean, Matt Nagy said, oh, I'm excited about how we play these last two games, <laughs> how, how we show improvement. But I mean, they got they're stuck with Mitch, so I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. I mean, do you think if uh, the Bears, you know, the Bears are not going to make the playoffs anyways? No, they weren't. But if they would have been the Packers, I mean, that's it would have been exciting. That's a hey, successful season in uh, yeah, Chicago because they still have to play Kansas City and Minnesota, so. Yikes. Yeah. Yikes. But see, people are wondering what they got. That's the problem. And they don't get number one. You know, they gave up the draft pick for Khalil Mack. And, oh. What do they need? I mean, other than a quarterback. Well, tight end. Uh, they're up, I don't know, a lot of stuff. Offensive <laughs> line. New coach. New GM. Uh, All right. Matt Nagy was the coach of the year last year. I know. Gene. He ain't going anywhere. No, him, yeah. They got they got a super the, the easy problem, schedule. Yeah. And Aaron Rodgers, was he was hurt for most of the year, wasn't he, yeah. last year or something like that? He was yeah. Hurt. So, uh, uh, well, now they just got to they gotta ride it out with Mitch, see where it goes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. All right. 
Well, good hey. job, Packers, though. I hey, mean, he, he, so great. Mitch was making those uh, cross the body throws I like know, Patrick, Patrick a, Mahomes. I, yeah. Th- there's your Patrick Mahomes right there. Yeah. Just do that, Mitch. Yeah. That's All right. Awesome. All right. Well, some other uh, Bears news, Gene. Oh. Uh, fifth. I think this is last week. Fifty years since Brian Piccolo died. Oh yeah. Pass away. Oh, Brian Song, which is a great movie. Man. Such yeah, a talent, man. Gene. Such a yeah. talent. Him and Gail Sayers teamed up in the backfield. Yep. Well, Gene, I mean, I loved it. Well, I mean, I loved them in Godfather, Misery. Oh, yeah, yeah. Rollerball. <laughs> Those are all classics. Yeah. So he didn't really die, you are saying? Well, yeah. He got James, shot at the toll booth in James, The Godfather. James Don't you remember Kahn. that? Yeah. He got lit up. James who? James Kahn. Who was that? That's 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 who played Brian Piccolo in all those. No, that was a documentary. Oh, I see. Brian Piccolo <laughs> was actually in. Can, oh, okay. Does anyone under the age of <laughs> fifty-four understand what we're talking about right now? I don't no. think so. I the only and the, Gene, the only reason why I know this is because I had to watch uh, Brian Song in seventh grade. Yeah, or something that was, like that. Oh, it's so emotional. Go watch uh, Disney Plus. Go check it out on mm-hmm. Disney Plus. That joke okay. will be funny. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> they still do the Piccolo Award, I think. More, uh, the Bears more sad news out of oh. the Bears. It doesn't get any better. There was a story about Rashan Salam on oh, ESPN. Yeah. Did you right. uh, get yeah. a chance to read he that? He died, too. Right? Or is he already been dead? No, he's, he's, I think he shot himself in 96. Or no, oh, I'm, okay. I'm sorry, 16, 2016. Who, too soon. Yeah, a uh, guy from, uh, well, he was originally from, uh, where was he from? Oh, I think it was from L.A., right? Oh, Los Angeles? And then he, didn't he go to Colorado? And then he went to Colorado. Yeah. And then, uh, or no, maybe it was from San Diego. No, he was from San Diego because I think it was, mm. he went to school at La, La Jolla. He went to Colorado and then, of course, went to the Bears, number one Bears, Heisman. He did not want to win the Heisman. Mm. He knew that the Heisman was a curse, and it didn't uh, mean Jack wow. um, as a professional. So we, do you have a Rashawn Salam jersey? Uh, no, I, I don't think he he didn't – I don't think his pro career really took off too well, did it? I think he broke his leg in the second year yeah, in preseason, and then I think the Bears cut him. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Another way to draft pick. Virginia – what's her name? Uh, McCaskey? Yes, 90 – I think she's 94 years old. Her and Martha Ford are both uh, his, in their 90s. His, his – his blood is on your hands, Virginia. Uh, <laughs> oh, wow. Should have overruled that. What happened to family? She said she wanted to see him win another Super Bowl while she's still alive. But, wow, she she might have to wait a while. She may be better keep working Someone out. just uh, tell her that uh, they changed uniforms and now they're silver and blue. And, you know, she'll watch the Patriots win. So, uh, yeah, just do it. Because she's old, dude. She's yeah. 94, All right. 95. And then Gene, the Vikings played the Chargers this in Los game Angeles. I did not see any of. I watched like the first quarter, and the Vikings seemed like they had it readily in hand, which they did. What they is it? What are the Chargers going to do? They can't. They they come nowhere close to selling out a soccer stadium. How are they going to move into the new big stadium and sell any tickets? I don't, well, they don't have to worry about that because it's not their stadium. I know they're renting because they made a deal with the no they're they're playing for free basically I think it's like a dollar yeah, or something yeah yeah like but they're they not don't care revenue either so I think for their games they do I believe mm, ah, all right well nah, whatever. look at us talking both disaster of us, talking like we know what we're talking yeah about. Uh, but yeah uh, Chargers are not good uh, is there any way the Packers can play the Chargers again can we arrange that maybe oh, a Thursday wow. night game yeah. I was hoping, because the Chargers won last week, I was hoping they'd step up and beat the Vikings, but they were a disaster. Did the Chargers beat the Bears? The Bears beat them, right? No, Chargers beat the Packers. <laughs> oh, no, Chargers did beat the Bears. Oh, they did? The Bears missed a field goal the last play oh, of the okay. game. Yeah. And, All right. So, yeah, the Vikings are sticking, uh, staying with the uh, Packers. They only got one loss more, mm. and they're playing Monday night next week. Oh, that is so exciting. That should be a big game. That's probably going to be the bigger uh, Monday night game That's for a That's going to be time. great. Yeah. Wow, the fans are going to be nuts in Minnesota. Oof. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Vikings are favored by four points. Oh, are team. they? That means, okay, so they get three for home field. So they, they consider the Vikings a better team than the Packers. I, I guess. Yeah. I mean, Kurt, does anyone watch Kurt Cousins play at night? 
I mean, am I? Oh. Up, do we all have short memories here? Mm. He chokes, right? Aaron Rodgers, he has a hard time. Does he have a hard time in Minnesota? Uh, uh, I don't. I don't think he has a. I mean, I don't think it's that. Uh, all right, let's I think go in there okay. and win there, Packers. That'd be pretty exciting. All right, uh, and then uh, former Viking Adrian Peterson ties Walter Payton for fourth all-time in rushing TDs mm. with his 110th rushing touchdown. I, I it's amazing he's still in the league, but then I keep thinking the minute he wa- he's going to be oh he owes so much. He's got got a lot guys. of child support to pay. Uh, he's now he's if he ain't, well he's already broke. He owes all those loans. He's ah oh, it's a mess. So uh, now tied with Walden Pay- Walter Payton. Uh, the polar opposite of uh, Adrian Peterson, I, I think, right? Oh, yeah. Did you say that? Yeah. When it comes to character? Say. Right. Absolutely. I mean, they do the Walter Payton Man of the Year Award. You can't do much better yeah, than I, that. I don't think Adrian. Pe- there's going to be an Adrian Peterson Award uh, in 50 years. I mean, maybe <laughs> maybe for the athlete that has the most children uh, yeah. with different women. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. That's, That's possible. That's a shame. These guys. Wow. So, Gene, he's, this guy's going to be in the – people are going to look up most rushing TDs and see Adrian Peterson above Walter Payne. Oh, that's sad. That is sad. Is but it? I mean, I don't know. Is there any way we could put an asterisk in the record books for this guy? Yeah. And uh, have a little uh, note, a little footnote that says he whipped a kid's scrotum with an electrical cord. Yeah, I know, I know Roger Mayer has got an asterisk. Right, this is right. way worse than that. Uh, kind of wordy, but he well, had 16 right. games extra, but uh, you know. Yeah, why not? Gene, we're talking about Brian Pickle. Why can't Adrian Peterson get cancer, huh? <laughs> oh, boy. It's the holiday season. He's not supposed <laughs> to think like that. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. All right. Well, good luck. To, I'm I'm surprised he's still in the league. Go, good oh, luck, AP. Yeah. And this guy, Matt Patricia, he's got to yeah. be. This has got to be it. Right? And uh, Tampa Bay at Detroit. Uh, Gene, I have defended Matt Patricia. Oh, my gosh, he's terrible. Uh, I said, you know, give him a chance. He's a starting quarterback. Matt Stafford is a pretty good quarterback. He's been out the whole season right, right. for the most part. Uh, but, Gene, they got walloped At by home, Tampa Bay that's got to be – that's got to be it. And he doesn't deserve – just so – hey, karma, karma, dude, the way you treat others, that's got to mean something. Unless you're really successful, yeah. then it doesn't mean as much. Well, the Lions make Jam- uh, they made Jameis Winston look like Joseph Montana. <laughs> <laughs> what are they going to do right. with Winston? They just got to keep. I I mean, that's another dilemma. I think uh, Bruce Bruce Arians is as soon as he gets like a good quarterback, he's going to uh, drop that guy. Quick. Winston can be so good. I don't know. I don't. I don't know if he could just ride him out. I don't. Know. Yeah. Well, it's it's, just, isn't his isn't this like the last year of his rookie contract? Yeah, like yeah. Mean, he's been in the league for a couple of years now. Yeah, no, I think uh, they either have to pay him or figure something out. And I'm like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, pay him in crab legs. All right, we there just go. gotta hope he's got to get. He's got two games, and he, I think he's got to throw five more interceptions. He'll get thirty for thirty. Thirty for thirty. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Um, and now, Gene, we're gonna talk about the Cincinnati Bengals. Whoops. Oh, not very and, good. And right? uh, Gene, this doesn't seem like it's a big of story as uh, it should be. Oh, the cheating, that video. Well, the Patriots had a scout in Cincinnati last week as the well, I think they played the Browns, right? Right. And apparently, there was a video production team recording the scout for a documentary about uh, you know the scouting uh, department for the New England Patriots called "Do Your Job." Right. And apparently, well, we started hearing murmurs, I think, on Monday this past week. Something's weird going on in uh, Cincinnati. Uh, the Bengals security, you know, caught these guys. And, uh, you know, we're hearing that uh, they're videotaping the sidelines and all that. And then later we're hearing that there's eight minutes of sideline recording. And then on Sunday, Jay Glazer somehow obtained video of the incident. And did you see this, Gene? Uh, Yes. 
I thought a little bit. So of it. this uh, apparently, and I, you know, I, I don't know the details here, Gene, but it seems yeah. like the security guard was recording with his cell phone camera, his little, uh, you know, what do you call it? His, uh, his, uh, when they first were discussing this. Yeah. Oh yeah, right. The right. dust up. Yeah. And uh, you know the producer is uh, saying, you know, we're doing this documentary, blah blah blah. And the security guard saying, I, I don't see the scout anywhere in this footage. And they're like looking, <laughs> they're looking at the footage on the. He, uh, I, I love the security guy though because he said, I don't think this is right. Right? He knew what he was talking about. Yeah, he was. Uh, he was panicking. Yeah. He was like, I, I can delete. It. I can delete. It. Don't trust me. I got right, no other right, copies. Right. I can delete. It. I can delete. It. I can delete. It. Security guards, damage is already done. Damage. Yeah. Well, first of all, why didn't the producer just delete it right there? I mean, the guy, the guy's not a cop. Right. You can't right. arrest him. That's what I'm saying. Just because some guy has a flashlight and a uh, you know T-shirt with a badge, hmm. ain't, ain't a cop. Right. You can't can't confiscate your But he your knew footage. what was going on. That's pretty amazing. Well, hmm. then the producer releases a statement unaffiliated with the Patriots, I guess, oh. uh, today. Or maybe this was yesterday or Sunday. Yeah. Saying uh, he was not directed by operations, football operations, and yada, yada, yada. That means they gave him money to stay silent. Oh. Who knows, Gene? But, of course, uh, this is the Patriots, and they've uh, been penalized for cheating twice now Mm. during the Belichick era. And, uh, Gene, what is it with the uh, Patriots and recording know. other teams? I, I hope they get hammered, too, just like the Astros. Although I really hope the Astros get stripped of their World Series title. Gene, That'd be awesome. the Patriots are like Japanese tourists at the Statue of Liberty. <laughs> How so? Taking pictures of everything. Oh, I see. Remember I see. that stereotype, yeah. Gene? Yeah, all right. That, not so much, not, not so big anymore, right? You, right. You, you remember... <laughs> Although I see a lot of Japanese tourists, Asian tourists on Hollow Boulevard every day when I walk down. Dude. Remember, like, back in the 80s where every every comic's bits were, like, about Japanese people or, like, right. Asian people and their cameras? Yeah. I don't don't think, really hear that so much anymore. I know. I think, well, in our politically correct world, you can't say all that stuff. I'm not sure President Trump. Well, I mean, they, 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 they're they fans of photographers. How is that yeah, racist? Yeah, what's wrong with that? Yeah. yeah. It's a compliment. Yeah. Well, we'll uh, so Gene, what what do you think the penalty should be for the uh, Patriots? Uh, no more first round picks for the next <laughs> ten years. I uh, hit them hard because they can't take away. I uh, agree, a first and a second rounder. Yeah, I mean, this is not the first time they've been caught. I think know? the Astros should get worse, way worse. But I think, yeah, first round, okay, five first round picks. How's that? And you know, even if the uh, you know the operations didn't know anything about this or whatever, is as the as an organization that is paying these uh, production crew to make these films, isn't it their responsibility? Yeah. To tell these people, hey, you can't be filming the uh, sideline, etc. Wow. Yeah. Mm. And I uh, look for a second, like the Bengals actually might win the game. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, these guys, uh, they they're so reliant on these goddamn sideline videos that they're going to lose the game. They don't know how to play football without that video. I, I mean, I would, uh, oh, it would, it would warm my heart if uh, the Patriots just fell apart and got knocked out in the first yeah. round. And then we're terrible forever, for, <laughs> at least for 50 years. And then see what it feels like to be a regular fan or Patriots. <laughs> Uh, Gene, that day is coming as soon as, uh, t- well, Tom Brady's not going to be a Patriot next year. So. I, it seems more and more likely. He no. hates it there. Uh, he's not having fun. His elbow's all messed go. up. He, maybe he'll be a bear. That's a nice <laughs> call. I don't know. Uh, well, people are saying maybe San Diego, but uh, apparently Giselle Bunchin, right. she hates the West Coast. So, uh, oh, okay. maybe, uh. Maybe a giant? Maybe for, would he play for the Giants? I don't know. God, that would be awful. Or the Jets? That you don't want to see that. No. I don't I think, think I don't think he played for the team that beat him twice. Right. So. All right, and then uh, Major League Baseball updated uh, their drug policy. Oh, no more weed, or you can smoke weed. MLB no weed. drops marijuana from its banned substances. Yeah, that's list. the way it should be. Well, I'll tell you what, Gene, uh, Josh Gordon has already reported for spring training. (laughs) 
He, what he was he, he was just to? suspended again. I wonder, but it said PEDs too. Who knows what he's doing? And he looked like he kind of got things going. In well, Seattle. it was P, PEDs and uh, yeah, what do you call it? Uh, illegal right. substances or something like that. Yeah. So uh, the guy the guy loves. Well, he got kicked off the Patriots, right? And then he's yeah. got a second chance. I mean, jeez, uh, just mm. let just let the man smoke weed, all right, yeah. folks. I mean, uh, you, you, you got you, you got T you got T pill trains mm-hmm. on game day. T needle mm-hmm. train, t- tra- tractor doll or whatever the hell. Oh yeah, yeah. Troll doll. Yeah. That's super potent uh, painkiller. You got people lined up. And you're shooting guys in the ass <laughs> with uh, troll doll. <laughs> Guy can't even smoke a yeah. blunt. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Well, I'm glad they got rid of the weed stuff. It just just baseball. I. I'm just getting more depressed by the day, thinking the Cubs are going back to being bad again. I think oh. <laughs> they're not in a conversation with anybody. Anybody? All their it was sad. They were good for. They, I loved when they were good, and now we might have to go the other direction. We should go. We should dig up one of those episodes, Gene, where you're uh, so excited. talking about the. Uh, this is before Chris Bryant was playing every single day. Yeah, right? yeah, he he got going. And now, now they're they're not in discussion. Any any free agent, the Cubs aren't even in discussion with nothing. Yeah. Yep. Oh boy. No talks. Well, they can do all the drugs they want. I don't think the Cubs is going to affect them. Well, Gene, I mean, if you look at the MLB logo, there's a uh, snowball oh. going towards the uh, <laughs> player. Wow. Well, how about how about that? Look at or an that. eight ball. This guy's got a huge nose too. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Is it? What, yeah, Harmon Killebrew, is that who they said it was? Uh, is it? I don't know. Yeah, it no, it's Jerry West. You right? Yeah. All right. Okay. All right, and that's it, Gene. That's, All right. That's the uh, Hey, news. next week's going to be very exciting. I hope everyone has a great week. Oh, it's cold in the Midwest. It's going to be Christmas next week, next cold week here. Wednesday. Yeah. Are you are going back to Texas. Yeah, is that correct? Yeah, I am. Then we're going to come back here. Yeah. Last stop. Oh. I am. Uh, I have purchased my ticket for Wisconsin. So you're going to fly to Minneapolis. Yep, and then take a show. So this is the uh, this is what I'm going to do, Gene, to save like 100 bucks on plane yeah, ticket. Yeah, good. Going to leave on uh, Christmas Eve at 11:50 p.m. Good. Yeah. Land around uh, you know 5:57 a.m. in Minneapolis. Yeah. And then uh, wait until about nine o'clock to get on the shuttle to La Crosse, and then uh, arrive home at 12:30. Uh, that's great. Afternoon. You walk in the door a hero. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I feel like uh, John Candy, Plane, oh Trains, and Oh, my gosh. What a great movie. Oh, my gosh. So good. Steve Martin. Yeah, I think I'm going to see – I'm going to take my mom to probably Cats. Are you going to see that with in, your family? In Texas? Yeah. The movie opens Christmas. So oh, really? That should be very exciting. Uh, I'm actually going to go see 1917. Oh, uh, my gosh. I'm going to see that. I want to see a uh, good war movie on Christmas Day. So. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's good. Okay, maybe I'll take my mom to that. <laughs> Somewhere. Oh, she, hey, she already lived through it, right? So, yeah. for God's sakes. Almost. When was your mom born? Uh, wait, she's 83. I don't know. No, oh, not that bad then. 40. Oh, all right. So, okay. 60. Yeah, somewhere. Yeah, I don't know. 1940. All right, 1935 or something. Somewhere like that. in there. All right. All right. Well, big plans, and we will uh, we'll try to do a show uh, in right. the meantime, so we will see what's up. All right, so anything else, Gene? Any? Happy holidays. <laughs> All right, we got one more show. Safe travel. That, but, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. But yeah. every day every day between now and New Year's is a holiday. That's correct. Is it? Well, every day with you, Gene, doing a podcast is a holiday. So, thank you. For Gene Steichen, my name is Chris Sotts, Midwest Sports Show. Bye.